Hiya, so today I'll be showing you how to face paint an under the sea theme. First of all you're going to need to get a small sponge and cover one end in the light blue paint and then cover the other side of the sponge in the dark blue face paint, ready for blending. So we're going to need to cover the forehead area in the light blue paint with the sponge and bringing it down to the sides of the eyes too. Then to make the painted area not have streaky lines we just need to dab the sponge lightly on top of the painted area to get an even blended surface colour all over. Once you're happy with this, you're going to need the dark blue on the opposite end of the sponge. We're just going to do random wave lines spread out over the top of the light blue, like this. Once you have done this, you just need to keep dabbing the dark blue waves to blend them out a little. And you can keep swapping to the opposite end of your sponge where the light blue paint is to help blend over the top or around the dark blue areas. Now it's time to put the sponge down and to pick up your small pointed brush and the green paint. We are going to start by painting the turtle in the middle of the forehead. We just need to do a big oval or circular shape first of all. Then just pushing your brush down and lifting it up to create the turtle's legs, like I'm doing here. It doesn't matter if your legs aren't symmetrical as it could just look like the turtle is swimming. Now to do a semicircle shape joining onto the turtle's body, this will be the turtle's head. You need to wash your brush now and then use the white paint. We are going to put a small amount of white paint on the brush and then gently create small dot patterns on the turtle's body like I'm doing here. Try to make your dots not touching. I've used white for this because it'll fade to a light green almost when over the top of the green itself. Now to wash that brush again and use the red paint for a crab. We need to do another oval shape like this for its body. And then just fill in that in too. You need to do a nice curved line like this coming from the body pointing upwards ready for the claws. A 
and for the claws on the end we just do a small letter C shape like so. Now to move on to the small pointed detail brush with the red paint also. You need to do a tiny little legs from the body. I would recommend using three on each side. Back onto the small pointed brush and the red paint again. I'm going to show you how to paint a starfish, which of course is a star shape. Once you're happy with your star shape, then you'll need to wash your brush and using the white paint just do a simple squiggly lines in the shape of the star in the middle. Then just dot in with the white on each end of the starfish too for details. Moving on to the orange paint now with the same brush, we are going to create little fish all over the design. To create the fish we just do little ovals for the bodies and then two lines for the tails as you can see I have done here. It's best to spread your fish out and don't go overboard with them as we need some space left for the seaweed later on. Try to do your fish in opposite directions. Now using the tiny pointed detail brush and the white paint, we are going to start to put the details on. First of all, we need to do two white tiny ovals on the crab's body for its eyes. Of course our fish are going to need eyes too and this will just be small white dots with the white. Here 
here I'm just going to do tiny white lines around some of the turtle's body, head and legs for a shine look as if the light is shining onto the turtle. We're going to make our fish look as if they're blowing bubbles, so we just put tiny white dots coming from the mouth area upwards on each fish like this. Now to wash that brush and move on to the green paint. It's seaweed time. For the seaweed, quite simply do squiggly or wavy lines coming from the bottom of the ocean area, like I have done here. And try and put your seaweed in between the fish if you can. Now to move back onto the white, I'm just going to create a shine look on the starfish. And also I will be doing it on the seaweed. This will make everything pop and stand out more. After washing the brush again, just switch to using the red paint this time. The fish are needing little mouths, so we need to do a tiny C curved shape coming from the fish's head. It's time for the final details using the black paint. I'm going to outline my crab. And also my crab needs tiny black dots in its eyes too. And a smile to finish it off.
Then all of the orange fish will need their eyes finishing too, with a smaller dot again in the middle of the white dots, already painted like this. Moving on to the turtle now to be outlined. And finally, the starfish to outline. And there we have it one finished under the sea themed face paint design. I'd love for you to have a go and send in your photos of how you got on. Thanks for watching!